Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition of Game Dev Tycoon with JPT. This is a summary of the last episode. Reviews for Worlds, let me guess, no 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 an eight. <laughs> oh, nine. Oh, did, I, did I do that? I thought it was another eight. Wow. Eight. It's a really good game. And uh, seven. I think this person gave us a seven. No. Oh. Eight. I, maybe I wasn't paying attention. Maybe it was different. I don't know. Um, I did sort of reload the game, and this is where it left off, so mayhaps it was a little bit more gentle with us on this one. So this should sell pretty well. This should sell pretty well. So again, this is a Game Dev Tycoon. You can get the game at greenheartgames.com. I think I paid like eight bucks for it. Totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Don't get the uh, pirated, quote unquote pirated version. Uh, it'll come up and bite you in the butt. Spend that $8. Don't buy pop for a week or whatever, or soda or whatever you call it. Um, you know, save up a few bucks and uh, throw it at these guys. This is their first game and it's a heck of a lot of fun. All right, so we got 83 research. We should totally do multiplayer with the 3D thing. Heck yeah, but we need to uh, we need to do some more topics. Let's do history. Oh heck, this is Erica that we're right clicked on, isn't it? Yeah, she can do better than that. She do better AI. And good old Jason over here can do more topics. Let's do a pirate game. While this thing sells like sausage cakes. Rank number 10 will probably go down to what, 15, 12? That's not bad. All right, so she's done doing that. Let's train her. Let's get her design up a bit. Because I think I'm doing pretty well over here. Ooh, what's this? Uh... Oh, looks like I don't read that. It's a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information that might be of interest to you. If you're interested, yeah. Ooh. Should we do it? I've seen other people decline it. We're doing it. Thank you for your business. You have successfully researched business. Huh? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, okay, so what did that do for me? Strange. Okay, well, let's move on. Uh, what new topic is available? Dungeon. Ooh, didn't really play too many dungeon games when I was growing up. It was more of a sci-fi first-person shooter, but weird first person shooter games, you know, not the normal ones. Joystick. I feel like joystick isn't going to be playing a factor anytime soon. Um, we can do this. We can search that. Selling pretty well. Keep going. Keep going. Wow, it's ranked pretty high. Still, it hasn't really fallen off the map. All right, completed character progression. She's still searching stuff, so let's go ahead and... Um, I mean, this is, requires a lot of money, but we got $2 million. Let's see, AI companions. Ooh, that's cool. Stereo sound. Oh, we don't have research points for it. Let's just do medium games, and then we'll make some games. Maybe make two or three more games before we do a sequel to the Jason games. Off the market. Worlds is now off the market. Did pretty well. That was a pretty good game right there. Worlds. We'll have to keep that in mind. That one sold pretty well. It's an RPG. Worlds. Wrote it down. All right. All right. Hey, Jason. I followed your progress at GPT He for a while. It seems that your, your recent expansion, you have started developing larger games. Larger games deserve to be seen by more people. And this is where a publisher can come in handy. Ooh, this is publishing contracts. Publisher will market and publish your game around the world. They will also help fund development. In return, they keep most of the profits, but since the game will sell a lot more... Mm, I don't know if I like this. Just let me know. Yeah. First, fine publishing contract. Been unlocked. I don't really... 
I don't really want to do publishing like this. I don't know. Using a publisher is a great way to get your games in front of a large audience, which in turn helps to grow your fan base. Once your fan base is big enough, you can self-publish your larger games without the need of a publisher. Oh, so you can go back to it. That is cool. For medium games, you could at least have at least 100k fans before you publish them yourself. Okay. We have about 6,000. So nowhere near that. Sign a contract. The contract will dictate what game you can create. Pay attention to all the details. Most importantly, the minimum score that the contract dictates. The game you release does not meet the medium, minimum, minimum, minimum score. You will have to pay a penalty, which can be costly. Yeah, no doubt. Popular genre is still RPG. It's also important to pay attention to the royalty rate. The higher the rate, the more money you will make from the contract. Oh, that's cool. Dungeon not researched. <laughs> Uh, dungeon Adventure, minimum score 6, game size medium, royalties 11, pay up front 90, penalties 150, racing which we have not researched, ooh, they want it on that, oh, I don't know if I could deliver on that, any topic, any genre on the, whatever this thing is, the Master V which we do not have the license for so we would not, we'd have to pay a lot of money, basically they would give us that to pay for the license, and we need a minimum score of 4, but the royalties are 7%. What are the royalties? That's 11. 11 seems to be a common number. 7, 12. We don't have a license on this. That would probably pay for the license. History of any genre. Again, we don't have that. So basically, any topic, any genre, no license. Let's take a risk. Master V license. Accept the contract. Do you want to pay? Yes. We have to get the license. Okay, so let's see, pick a topic, any license on that thing has to make at least a four. Popular genre right now is an RPG, which we can't select right now. Oh wait, no, that's not, that's not a genre, that's a, uh, <laughs> that's, that's not a topic. Um, an RPG with... A role-playing playing game with pirates. Mm, with the... Blood Engine? For everyone. And we will call it... Pirates. <laughs> we'll do 2D graphics. And start cranking her out. Seems that the market is normalized again with no particular... Oh! Well, fantastic. Creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike in small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of the game. To create a good game, to make it best use of your team, will have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. Pick team members whose skills match the area to get the best result. When you assign a team member responsibilities, you will see their workload. Try not to overload them too much. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, so you drag the staff there. Um, I'll do that. And you can do that. And I'll do this. Okay, so we, we've copied people over. Uh, let's see, this is an RPG. Yep, that's good. Ne Ooh, the Super Nevento. Cool. Never really had one of those growing up. Did play a lot at my friend's house, but I have never even owned one, to be honest, even after the fact. Um, Sega was more of my thing. It really was. All right. Let's see here. Um, dialogues. Erica, you're probably good at that. Um... Probably could use another person if they're going to have us start doing this. Uh, level design, I'll take care of that. AI. Well, I guess it's on Erica. Okay. Oh, and this adjusts their scores there. Interesting. Um, dialogues can come down. And Wow, this is really super complicated now. Um, AI... Um, let's get her down to 100%. Wow. Okay. 
Yeah, it looks like we could probably use another person. This next one is going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back, I think. Okay, I'm not even paying attention over here. Um, sound will bring down. World design will bring down. Um, I'll take the hit on this. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> um, I'll give her that. Yeah, somebody's going to need a vacation soon. And we'll probably need to fill the position. Fix them bugs. Uh, Super Nintendo has been released. Yikes. Not good. Not good on the design and tech on that. Designing for a publisher is hard. <laughs> Let's see here. She finally leveled up. Thank goodness. Due to increase in experience, the following staff have earned a raise. Oh, wow. Well, she's... She's earning it, I guess. Um, let's see. Let me... I think we may need to hire somebody else. Um... We'll give her a vacation, though. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh, this is not good. Oh my gosh! This is bad. This is super bad. And not in, not the fun movie. Oh my gosh! We bombed! Oh! Oh no! Did we sign that contract? Oh, man. Oh, man. How do we see what we've already signed up for? Huh. Hmm. I think we're going to have to develop another game. Maybe for everyone, the platform is going to need to be the Master V. Huh. Let's choose the topic first. Um, we still need to do that virtual pet game. Let's do another... Let's do a military game. A military strategy game. We'll call it... Wars! <laughs> Everything has an exclamation point here. Um, I don't remember if it needed to be a small or medium. I don't think it mattered. Um, let's make it a mature game. Oh, so, yeah, they didn't like that. Ouch! <laughs> well, sorry about you. Alright, military strategy. Um, no, I don't want to save it. Eh, why not? Okay, game engine, gameplay, story quests. We'll bring that down. This is just me. Oh, she's back. Back from vacay. Welcome back! Help me out here. Help me make another great game. Alright. Uh, the AI is going to be really smart. Level design is going to be really good. And we'll do some good sounds, great sounds, and we'll do some of that. It's all about the good sounding games, gotta sell those sound cards. Oh yeah, bam, fix them bugs. Fix them bugs. Got it, nice. High on the tech. I'm so high on the tech. <laughs> oh, man. 
You could waste a lot of time playing this game, I feel like. This would be a great uh, time waster. For eight bucks? That's a lot of fun. Okay. Um, let's look at a publishing deal. Um, nope. Uh, dungeon Adventure, nope. History Action, that sounds boring. Any topic, but it has to be a simulation. Upfront pay is 75k. Games, okay, so like, it's annoying. You have to like write this down, almost. Let's try this one. So we'll do any topic simulation. So it needs to be a sim. Uh, basically, size is medium. I think the medium is what makes you have to use other people, and we'll get 9% royalties on that. Okay. So, we'll accept that contract. Oh, cool, they already fill it out for you. So, okay, maybe I just wasn't paying attention. City, simulation, pick game engine. We'll do the blood engine on that. Um, we did city destroyer. Let's do... Um, mayor... Mayor's Choice. I don't know where I come up with these names. Start the development. First reviews for our newly released game, Wars, came in. Wow. We're really good at making some really mediocre games. Or at least I am. Whatever, fives, I'll take it. I was coaxed into thinking that the publisher already got what they wanted. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Fives. Fantastic. Just just sell it. Okay. So let's see here. We don't need any story or quests. Just just the bare minimum. Uh, engine, don't need a lot. So we'll put, put Erica on both that and that. And I will take the full brunt of the gameplay. So this is where the, these are coming into to, uh, play here. Sort of these workloads. Media is abuzz with the latest news from the year's entertainment conference. Surprise announcement, Vani, a company known for General Electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Hmm, interesting. Again, um, wasn't really a PlayStation guy. I uh, own a PlayStation 3. I own three games, MotorStorm being two of them and Borderlands 2 being the other, and I played Borderlands 2 for probably 10 hours because I'm more of a 360 guy and I then got into computing. So yeah, I use my PlayStation 3 for a Blu-ray player and I love it for that. The controller makes me feel like I have arthritis. Ooh, collaborated with Invento, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles, developed what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. Awesome. This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. We'll have to probably get into that. Baffled as only one day after Vani and Nintendo jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Nintendo announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek development. To Ooh, that's interesting. As a distribution deal with companies have worked out unfavorable. To oh, wow. Seems that this is the end of the PlayStation system. <laughs> oh, funny. Oh, wow, this is still making money as well as this. That's crazy. It seems that initial sales report for wars have fallen away. Yeah, I don't care. Just get rid of it. Just burn all the copies. Burn all the copies. Okay. Um, dialogues, I'm not too worried about. Level design doesn't need to be great. AI needs to be smart. I will take that. And you can take that. Do I have to focus people on that stuff? Yeah, okay. Oh, sorry, Erica. Yeah, that definitely makes making medium-sized games uh, more interesting, that's for sure. Collecting up that research. Oh, yeah, above 100. Okay. Um, sound can go down. Graphics can go to medium. I'll take that. You take these two. We need to get another person if we're going to keep making medium games. 
Let's fill the position. Don't try to hire everyone at once as staff are expensive. Many rookies hire too early and go bankrupt. It's best to take it slow. Okay. I'll trust you. Just really rough. I need a vacation. Do I not get a vacation? <laughs> All right. Not bad. Not bad. We'll go ahead and finish the game up. So basically, when you take a contract, it just puts you right into the game development thing. So it'll tell you if you're not doing things the way the company wants you to. Um, we needed to get what? Uh, we get a 9% royalty on this, and we needed at least a 5 review, I think. Seems like it's going to be okay. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Well, we're just paying the publishers now. Don't worry. Wow. Okay, well. Well, well, well. I think we'll, uh... I think we'll just stay away from those publishing things for now. Keep self-publishing games. Go ahead and give me the bad news. There we go. Go ahead and give me the double bad news. TES is no longer supported. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and wait. Alright, well, while I'm waiting, I guess I'll do some research. New topic. Um, let's do dungeon. And you do some research on... Hmm... I really wanted to do stereo sound. Yep, that's fine. Take the money away from me. 110k, that's fine. I think it's time for us to develop a handheld game. What do you guys think? Completed dungeon. Completed stereo sound. All right, develop a new game. This is going to be for the young at heart. The topic is going to be virtual pets. The genre is going to be um casual. The platform will be that. Yep, I will buy the license. And the game engine will be that one there. The game engine will, or the game will be called Yuka Pet. I just came up with that. It doesn't make any sense. Um, we'll do 2D graphics version 1, because why not? And we will get to work on this. Okay. Um, story quest high, gameplay high, engine, I'm not too worried about. Oh! I saw those options on the right, and I didn't select any of them. Shoot. Gotta keep up with that stuff, Jason. Man, that was stupid. Um, dialogues, meh. Artificial intelligence, meh. Level design, high. Uh, I'm disappointed that I didn't pay attention to that. Like this over here. Um, we'll focus on the sounds, the graphics, I'm not too worried about. Really need another hit. Go a long way. No bugs. Cool. Might have been the first one we had no bugs in. Didn't quite hit our mark. Great combo. Yes, it was. Man, those. what did they used to call those things that you could carry around on a keychain? I think I had one at one point. It was ridiculous. Ooh, professional. Reach level 5 with a character. That's me. Someone on your team has reached, reached an experience level 5. This unlocks a special training item called Boost. For training, it is expensive and you can only do it once. The character has at least 500 design or technology points, but the investment is well worth it. Once trained, the Boost allows you to temporarily increase the output of your staff and can really help you make a hit game. Oh, cool. Let's see here. Let's go ahead and do some more research. Um, actually, you know what? Oh, let's go ahead and take out the reviews. Shows potential. I really feel like some of those options that I didn't select at the beginning um, really kind of hurt. Oh, nice. Eight. Cool. If I get a nine, I would be over the moon. Not the case. That's fine. That should sell well. 
go ahead and do some training. Okay, well, I'm not quite there, but uh, let's go ahead and get that done and go ahead and train her in technology. I think that's technology. Nice. Wow. That's actually not that great for the amount of units. It hmm, must have been selling it for dirt cheap. Kind of wish it would tell you if people wanted, you know, sequels. Like if there was a want for a sequel from a certain person, I would totally do that. Well, she's bumping up her research. I'm bumping up my tech over here. Really need to get her tech up, but that's fine. We'll focus her on technology or design. Okay, I'm gonna train you again. Um, let's do that. And I'll do some more research. What about new topics? Fashion. Wow. Startups. That just sounds so boring. Let's do a racing game. We've got the engine for it. That just might be the hit we need. You could pet us off the market. See, that's better. That's a way better ratio. It's crazy. Steering wheel. Oh, heck yeah. Let's do it. Everyone has like the most expensive steering wheel, right? Like the some old piece of crap, you know, serial connector that was just crazy. Ooh, biggest games, games, games. Biggest convention known as G3. Nice. By having your own company booth at G3, you can gain a lot of fans and hype for your games. We think your audience would love to see you there. Cool. All right, let's go ahead and get that steering wheel out of the way. Let's develop a racing game. It is E for everyone. Let's pick a topic. Racing. The platform. Well, obviously, it needs to be for the PC. And the game engine is going to be the Dimensions game engine. And we will call it Vroom. Uh, what's the matter here? Oh, genre. Um, I guess casual? 3D graphics. Oh yeah, give me them 3D graphics. Okay, here we go. Uh, simple cutscenes in a saved game. Oh yeah, it's gotta be... Yeah, well, I'm not worried about stories. It's a racing game, hello. All right, um, let's boost up the AI dialogues. I'm not worried about level design can come down. All right, and finally, let's give it some awesome sounds. We don't need an open world. Um, best sounds, great graphics, not worried about the world design. This is the game that only one person you knew could actually run and you all had to go over to their house and you all had to play it for hours at a time and it took like you know an hour to get it to actually run because you know you had to change all the settings and then load it and then go back out and <laughs> it, it was a big mess yeah we're we're gonna knock out all these levels here that's that's really great this is helping us quite a bit very nice just hope erica actually is gonna come up a little bit on her leveling Yep, perfect. Due to an increase in experience, well, she just keeps getting paid the big bucks. Video playback and Easter eggs. Awesome. All right, let's see how this game did. Need a hit. Need a hit. Focus on gameplay. Serve this game very well. Give me an eight. Really? Oh, man. Shows potential. Fun at stages. Well, that was all over the map. Oh, no, you didn't. I managed to identify some of them. We would, we could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to stop. What do you want to do? Let's warn them first. Thank you, Erica. You're right on top of it. All right. Um, 
What kind of research do we have? School? Yeah, these categories are all kind of just like... <gasps> um, let's research multiplayer. Multipass? Um, we don't need you on vacation just yet. Let's train you on... I, I, I'm having a hard time telling what these are for. Like, there's five of them. What are they for? Does it really matter? Big game convention will take place in four weeks' time. Do you want to participate? A small booth, cost 80000 can show our marketing material isn't very impressive, but a common setup. Larger, uh, we don't have that kind of money. Let's just choose that one. I guess you could opt out of it. I didn't really see an option for that. Recently sent war warnings to several players using illegal copies of their game. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy, while others argue it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We have gained 201 fans. Cool, cool. And while she's still doing her stuff, we'll continue to do some researching. Um... Let's do branching story. Man, she's taking a long time to get that up. She needs another vacation. <laughs> Ooh, game convention. What is this? People showing up? That's cool. Oh, well, we went with a sucky game. Put freaking worlds or whatever in front of there and see what happens to people. I'll go nuts. Or, you know, the Jason game. Eh, that'll do. We didn't make it in the top 100 booths this year. Once we gain more fans, I'm sure we will. Wow, we're not doing great on the fans. Develop new game. Let's pick a topic. Let's do... I think it's time for another horror game. I think it's time. I th it, I'm no, 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 no. I'm feeling it. Jason lives. Let's do this. Genre action. Pick a platform. Uh, we'll stick with the PC. Game engine dimensions. This is going to be all 3D up in your face. 3D graphics. Come on, finish your research and help me out here, Erica. Um, simple cutscenes. High on the engine, high on the gameplay, short on the quests. Ooh, we got some hype going. Yeah, we do. New research available. Sequels, of course. Uh, well, you know what? We're going to do some marketing. Sure. Building up that hype. Dialogues. We'll bring up just a bit. Level design, we'll bring up. Particularly well with games, with new topics at the moment. No, oh, they're going to get an old game. That's all I'm saying. Ooh, look at that hype. Um, ah, dang it, I didn't pay attention to the right. Mmm, I just blew right through that. That sucks. Why did... I feel like an idiot. Fix those bugs, please. Dang it. I just blow through that. I'm sorry about that. I'm really disappointed. I feel like this could have been a much better game. Oh, I'm going to be really disappointed when these reviews suck. Oh, well. Uh, Erica didn't really put much to that. Ooh, a soundtrack. Go ahead and do some research. Uh, what was that? What we saw? Sequels. There we go. We're really running out of money. Beautiful. Yeah, it would have been better if I would actually have contributed more to the uh, thing to it, so now I'm going to have to wait even more so. Wow, they loved it though. Wow, that's way better than I was expecting. So thanks for being gentle, everybody. Um, let's do history, I guess. 
Yeah, we're running out of money real fast. 30th. Could have been better. Vani has announced their very own console called the Play System. Apparently the company has completely reworked their earlier Play System prototype after Nevento canceled the project. New Play System comes with a CD-ROM drive and a 32-bit processor wholly owned by Vani. Industry professionals say this might be the beginning of a new generation of consoles. Nevento declined to comment. Play System will enter the market early next month. Well, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode of uh, Game Dev Tycoon. If you like what you're seeing, like that button. Just click on the little, you know, like button. That helps me out quite a bit. Also, you can comment below. That would help me as well. And uh, subscribe. That will help me even more so. Uh, so if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. I've got a lot of other great series that you can check out. And if you are currently a subscriber, thank you very much. So until next time, this is JPT, and I'll be seeing you.